In this video, I'll break down how to use my film matte overlay pack for Final Cut Pro 10, which is for sale on my website WinkinsMedia.com. Now, this pack comes with a total of 20 plus film matte overlays. Now, for the most part, you can pretty much just change like the background color. However, one of these plugins is very customizable. You can go ahead and customize your own border completely from scratch, even for vertical videos or even for like square Instagram videos. So in this video, I'm gonna break down how to first install this plugin. I'm gonna go, go ahead and break down how to actually use these really cool overlays. So once you purchase the product, it should just send you an email. You can go ahead and download the file. Now the file should say filmmatoverlays.zip. Now to unzip a file, all you have to do is just double click on the zip file and it should just open this folder, Film Matte Overlays. Now what you wanna do is you wanna head over here to go, go to home, and then head over here to movies, open up movies, and then go to your motion template folder, open up motion template, locate the generator folder, and all you wanna do is you wanna take this folder and just simply drag it into your generators folder. So if I open up the folder right here, as you can see, film matte overlays, if I open the folder here, they all are. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up a random one, and this is what it should look like. It should have this icon, and that means it's a generator, so it needs to be again in your generators folder in your motion template folder. Once you reopen Final Cut, what you wanna do is you wanna head over here to your titles and generators tab. What you wanna do is you wanna scroll down until you find your generators tab, and you wanna scroll down until you find it film matte overlay pack. So you wanna find this category right here. As you can see, here are all the film matte overlays that come in this really cool pack. So we'll go ahead and let's just take a simple one. We'll go ahead and drag right here. And let's go ahead and let's say we want to use one of the triple ones. So let's say we wanna use triple six. So all you wanna do is you wanna take it and then just drag it on top of your clips. Now as you can see, I have it like saying like triple or single or double. That's basically just telling you how many clips you're going to need. So for example, this is triple, so we're gonna need Need three different clips. So let's go ahead and head over to the end of this and I'm just gonna go ahead and simply trim this overlay. So if I go ahead and just disable this overlay so you can actually see what's happening. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different clips. So here's clip number one, here's clip number two, then here's clip number three, and I just stack them on top of each other. Now you want them to com be completely lining up, so basically you just want them to all be the same duration. So I go ahead and re-enable the film matte overlay. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Now you know what, what you have to do is you have to kind of like make Manually go through and adjust the clips. There really is no way to automate this, but again, this is just this plugin is just to save you a lot of time. So you go ahead and select the clip. All you have to do is just head over here, select each one of the clips, and then you want to go ahead and just head over to the, the scale so you can decrease the scale. You want to go to the crop and just crop the edges so it just fits in right here. So crop the right edge. And there you go, now it fits in, then you can, you know, you, you could adjust the position to get it in, you know, the place you want. But there you go, that's literally all you're doing. All you're just simply doing is adjusting the position, the scale and crop to make sure they fit in these uh, borders. So if we select on this one right here, we can go ahead and just decrease the scale so, if, so it fits in the border. We can adjust the position over something like this, and we, we can adjust the crop a little bit. It doesn't really need it to be adjusted that much. But there you go, here is the second video. Then select on the third clip, and we're going to head, bit, head over to the position right here now we can go ahead and adjust the position and there we go now you see there's a little bit of a space right here so what we have to do is we go select on this clip and we have to either like take this move this position down a little bit we can maybe increase the scale so it's a little bit of trial and error and there you go now the clips are perfectly fit into the border now we can go ahead and select on this overlay now what you can do is you can basically just adjust the color so we say we want to here we want to have the background green if that you know, kind of fits your aesthetic or you can of course make it the generic film matte and then go over here and select black and there you go now you have the black border so you can really kind of customize it to just basically fit your aesthetic so we go ahead and play the, the video right here as you can see there we go just just as simple as that Go ahead and play right here. You have these really cool clips inside this really cool film mat overlay border. Literally as simple as that. Just takes like a minute or so and you create this really cool split screen effect. Now one thing you might be wondering is do these plugins work for vertical and square videos so if you're posting it on like Instagram or TikTok. Now these plugins are not specifically optimized for vertical videos. However, most of them are, are going to work the same. So if again, if we head over to titles and generators and let's say we want to use like split quad, we go ahead and just drag it onto the clip right here into the project and as you can see, see there you go. It works. It, 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 again, it's not perfect 
perfectly like you can't see everything in the vertical project but as you can see most of them are going to work for a vertical project so there you go and then you go ahead and do the exact same thing with like a, a, a add three more clips and then adjust the position and scale so you see that one works we can do like triple five place it onto the clip as you can see see it also works so it's not specifically optimized however like 90 percent of them are going to work for vertical or square videos now what i also added in this pack if i go ahead and just delete this is i added like a custom border so if i scroll down as you can see so I'll, I'll scroll up as you can see this custom one so if i go ahead and drag this onto the vertical project now again this works for vertical square horizontal any kind of aspect ratio if i just trim over here and I select this overlay as you can see now this one has a lot more like customizability so what we can do is let's go ahead and we can just adjust the color let's say we want to use for example let's say white background so we want a white background now you can adjust the size so you see it's a lot more customizable so we can adjust the size something like this we can increase the height to make it obviously taller if we can increase the width a little bit then we can head over here to the roundness and make the edges a lot more round we can head over here to the feather and feather it inwards or outwards or we can feather it inwards so let's say we want to feather it outwards just a little bit see now you have this really cool like blurred lines and of course you can adjust the position and there you go now you have this really cool like kind of like border effect and again you can change the colors now again this works with any aspect ratio and there you go just as simple as that now you have this really cool custom border that you can use for any kind of video anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found this really helpful and informative and hopefully you really enjoy this film matte overlay pack again it is for sale on my website website winkinsmedia.com it's just a really clean simple pack that just makes your life a lot easier so instead of having to like add a generator add shape mask and cut all those um clips up this just makes your life a lot easier and saves you a ton of time so again hopefully you really enjoyed and if you want to watch more videos like this make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button i will see you in the next one peace